Hello there and welcome to the Hungarian Grand Prix. I said welcome to the Hungarian Grand Prix. I don't know what was going on there. I haven't a clue what was going on there. But uh looks like it's uh, raining outside. Um, as far as the engine is concerned, we've uh, decided we're going to take the gamble and go for it. It says 48, 6 laps. Well, let's give 3 laps for qualifying. So that'll take it down to 43, so it'll make it so we can have brand new stuff for Belgium, basically. Which is, ideally, what we wanted to do anyway. Um, so gearbox is fine as well so that's all good we are expected to take a little hit in the drivers championship today um although in been saying that uh we may see a surprise on the podium i'm not going to spoil it but we may see a little surprise uh can't do everything with the r and d yet uh although i could take an upgrade and get some more power for monza I'm talking hypothetically. Um, so, let's see what Emma has to say. Hi, Hi, Emma. Emma. I'm so glad they did. I'm so glad they came up. Qualified 10th beat Raikkonen. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's get out there and uh, take our punishment, so to speak. I think it should be too. Traditionally, these are very Adrian Newey conditions. The Red Bulls have it of creating incredible downforce coming with a high rate they like to run is perfect for the wet and it's helped them close the power gap a number of times over recent years. I think, I think Force Indra as well, always, always a bit of a dark horse, horse in changeable positions, and of course, and of course the McLarens have a fairly good chassis. chassis. Having, Having said, said that, I don't want to make a firm prediction. If we get pole for this race, I will be very, very surprised. There's the guy who I think will get pole. I will do my best. As long as you lighten the car up, I'll do what I do best. This is going to be interesting. Hungry in the wet. Almost as bad as Singapore in the wet. And going back to what uh, Mr. Davidson said, the Red Bulls have been nowhere. Uh, practice uh, was Hamilton, Vettel and Bottas. We were in amongst that through, uh, there's Bottas. We were in amongst that through P1 and P2. And then came the surprise. Practice one was dominated by the McLaren team. Alonso had found a turn of speed somewhere. I 
I don't know where he found that turn of speed from, but he found it. Let's see if I can be Bottas. Oh yeah! We'll take that. Yum yum, come and get you some! There you go, here's Alonso, and there's Vettel. <laughs> Don't doubt a McLaren podium, double podium for one second around this circuit. Our chassis is just good. So second, that was a uh, good, and we lose. Who we lose? Palmer, Grosjean, Perez, Perez again. Wow. Well, I'm calling him driver of the day. Uh, and then that scumbag and Pascal Verlaine. So on to Q2. Right. Doesn't look like it's dried up yet. So straight out there, let's get this done. If, if that's Alonso... It's not, it's Vettel. But you can see the speed difference on the straights. Sort of slidey through the chicane. Yeah, that lap's not going to cut it, Kavir. That lap's going to cut it. So is that lap. Come on, Alonso, don't let me down. Thank you if you do. Thank you. Oh, speed is starting to come. Speed. Demon speed. And out of that session we lose Hulkenberg, Stroll, Sainz, Masser and Kvyat. Everyone just went mad for the fact that we lost Daniel Kvyat. Right, Q3. Track's not dried up, which is good. Get out. Have I um got a spare a set of tyres, I wonder? I'd take a set of intermediates too. And hopefully we get uh 
a good uh, lap out of it. So we save this. Get there, thank you. Create that, off you go. Get out on track. Do the business. So it's the great equalising conditions, the rain. Someone's decided to stay in the garage, they don't want to come out and play yet. I haven't a clue who. It's probably Alonso. I don't know who that was that went into second. But Vettel has set the benchmark. All kinds of sideways through the chicane. Alonso! Oh, hello! Oh, Bottas ruined it. And now Raikkonen's going to ruin it. Oh, I want the McLaren front row. Well, I've got my job done. Even if I start third, I'll be happy with that. I'll do the ultimate. King Alonso! Oh, it's Hamilton that's decided he didn't want to come out and play yet. Well, now he wants to play. Come on, Alonso! Are you forced? Fourth for Alonso! Right, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm going to do. This is going to be filthy tomorrow. I'm going to guarantee you, we're going to have a filthy first corner and something's going to happen. Trust me. I forgot to say it was time to get paid. That was naughty of me not saying it's time to get paid. How do you like them apples, Raikkonen? Oh, them three are peeved that I didn't go sign with them. Oh, now the sun's come out. <laughs> oh, dear. Seventh beat Raikkonen. Fair enough. How long's that engine going to last? 38 laps. So basically it's wearing out until it gets weared out. So right then, let us go and let us get this race under there. Something good is about to happen. So as, so as we, we look ahead, ahead to what I hope, I hope will be a very entertaining race, race. I have <coughs> today, but to what you, you expect to see in terms of strategy today. today. I mean, I mean do, you do you expect a lot of tyre management, management, a lot of fuel management? management? 
Well, well don't, don't we always? always. I, don't I don't expect, expect these are going to be any more important than usual. Yes, hello, darling. What I do expect Christian, you're I'm being interviewed. You're getting it in the first corner, mate. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that would be the go-to strategy, surely. With that, With that then, then, let's run through the grid order. Sebastian, Sebastian Fettles has a clear track, track ahead of him today. He starts, he starts in pole position and a McLaren, McLaren alongside. Looking, Looking down, down the rest, rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Hamilton Alonso, Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen and Bottas, Verstappen, Ocon, Ricciardo and Kevin Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Carlos Sainz and Massa, Fiat, Palmer, Roman Grosjean and Sergio Perez. Ericsson and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. And with, and with preparations, preparations almost, almost complete, complete let's, let's head, head down, down to the, the track. track. You should have some space going into the first corner, so, so try to keep it tidy. I will try very hard to keep it tidy. Let's take some fuel out as well. Right. There is the enemy. Somewhere over there is Hamilton. Can I see him in my mirrors? No. I can see Alonso. See, I can't see him over there. Right. Let's do this. Clutch engaged. Oh, that was quick! It's lights out of the way we go! Go on, Frankie! He didn't make it! Did we get any damage? No. So it's good, we're gone. Vettel and Hamilton are gonna try a different strategy today. Alonso's already lost the place. I expected some big things from Alonso today. I think he was actually expecting the rain. And if you can believe it, ladies and gentlemen, the McLaren, the underpowered McLaren, is leading this race. Not many people were expecting the underpowered McLaren to lead this race. He seems to be holding his own in fifth. But still leading this race. Hamilton's got free of Vettel. Well, that's good to hear.
don't really need a lot of power through the Hungara ring. Alonso still P5. He must be holding Bottas behind him. And if he is, that's amazing. Why would I want to need to go in rich fuel mode? Oh! Whoever that is in fourth has dropped right back towards Alonso. <laughs> oh, game changer. Happened to Vettel. More to the point, what's happened to Alonso? He's gone to sixth, I think. He better be on the soft tyre. I think the car to watch out for here is Verstappen. the car to actually watch out for is Raikkonen he's right on uh, Hamilton's tail So I can only think then the four dots behind me must be Hamilton, Raikkonen, Bottas and Verstappen. Gap to Hamilton, 3.756 seconds. <laughs> 37.56. Six 
something's happened to bring the flag out. Oh, someone's gone off! Metal! I don't have to come in this lap, do I? We also passed a slow Ocon. So we've lost Vettel. That's going to promote Alonso to fifth. So it's Hamilton, Raikkonen, Verstappen, Alonso. <laughs> Soon to be! Oh, come on! This is falling nicely into Alonso's hands if he can get it right. It's a good day to be a McLaren. No, they want me to pit in now. I might as well. Oh, I got it below the speed as well. Oh, oh. Two point oh two nine seconds. Raikkonen's just taken the lead of the race, I think. Yeah, we need his stroll out of the way there. I do believe Raikkonen's just taken the lead of the race from Hamilton. Alonso's coming in. Raikkonen sets the fastest lap of the race. You said that 10 to 15 minutes ago.
So, when do we expect... It looks like Raikkonen's in now. No, Raikkonen's not in now. But one of the other cars is in. Who is it? Is it Hamilton? Is it Bottas? It's Hamilton. So we should... So Hamil we take Hamilton. So we're back into third. Does Verstappen. Verstappen takes Hamilton. Go on, Alonso! I didn't see if Alonso took Hamilton. I didn't see the track. I think he didn't. Come on, little engine, hold on. Right, Raikkonen's in now. Bottas is in. Do we beat Raikkonen out? I think we do. So we're back in the lead. And the clouds are starting to darken over. Verstappen's taken second place, I told you. Watch them. The Red Bulls have been nowhere this race. And then all of a sudden, this Verstappen kid, out of nowhere. Alonso's just taken someone. Who's Alonso just taken? Is that going to be Alonso into fifth? He's King Alonso! Just need someone to happen to Verstappen. No, not Verstappen. Ah, oh, Reichland's taking Verstappen. Hamilton's back in play. Whoever that was has put Alonso back down to six. I think it's Bottas. We should gain some ground on Ferrari. Another 15 points. I'm trying to think how many points six scores. It's 25, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8. Yeah. Raikkonen with the fastest lap of the race. You can have it, mate. You're eight seconds back. <laughs> Even if I decide to turn the wick down through uh, the slow corners, you're not catching me! 
unless my engine decides to have a fit. Speaking of, it's not far away from having said fit. It looks like Bottas has caught the staff and Alonso's been dropped now. So, sell for six, Frankie. Basically what they said, bloody hell, he's yanked two seconds out of me. At that rate, good lord, he's going to be passing me on the last lap. Oh, he's gobbling me up. Where's the rain? seconds a lap. It's a 4.6 second gap. He's going to be passing me somewhere on the last lap. Hold on, little engine. It's crazy of me to ask you to do six races. But with Malaysia coming up, I had to ask. It's down to three and a half now. Was that a drop of rain? That is a drop of rain, here it goes! It's three seconds and the rain's here. Oh! It's a case of what do you do now? Well, I know what... But is it going to be light rain or heavy rain? Raikkonen is right there. There's only one of 
走で Probably not advisable. The engines hold him. And Raikkonen is literally on my ass. He's right there! <laughs> oh, come on then, Raikkonen! The engine's just gone into the red. Raikkonen is right behind me. He's right there! We gotta hold him up for one corner! And somehow, we're gonna win the Hungarian Grand Prix! Get in! Don't say that was down to any strategy because it just wasn't! Or pace! Because we had none! Brilliant stuff from McLaren today! What a superb victory! And I have to wonder, as they say, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, the track conditions just really suited their car today. today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars can arrive when the tyres are just, just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race is. Verstappen finished fifth. That's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And look at that! They're making their way out onto the podium now. And we extend our championship lead as well. See what that calls the spray? The champagne! And after this round of the world championship, Here's how things look in the driver's table. A strong race there for our championship leader. That's extended their advantage at the top of the standings. And now I'd like to ask you, Andy Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Sergio Perez. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. On to the constructors then. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. It was also a strong victory from SF1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you there. Take care. Fantastic. So, we win the race. Alonso did finish sixth, which I think is fair enough. Although I think he could have had Verstappen because he was dropping like a sieve. Uh, told you Perez would get driver of the day. Uh, Stroll got a point for Williams. And uh, it's as you were in there. What happened uh, during the race? Oh, just oh, Ocon collided with me. Kimi had a stop go for ignoring the flags. Hmm, I think without that stop go, Kimi Raikkonen would have won this race. That's what I think. Oh, anyway, on to the standings. And yep, we have extended our lead. Alonso into the top 10. Yay! Extended the lead to 79 points over Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, 88 over Hamilton, 113 back to Vettel. I would say he's out of it. He's got to start playing number two driver to Kimi. Kimi is faster than you. Can you understand? Can you uh, confirm you understood this message? Uh, and we move the gap to within 14 points of the Scuderia. Haas and Williams are going to trade that sixth spot uh, back and forth, I think. Uh, 
think a Mercedes gained slightly on us, but not uh, too much. Right, in all that excitement, it's time to go and get paid. Because that was quality. Let's see the race start from Hamilton's position, because I don't need to pay attention to Hamilton. I think we were five wide at one point. Watch the Pink Panther. Boom! I think that's what made Vettel retire. This should take us over the thousand. Champion. And a little bit extra on top. All right, well, there you have one. He was liking that Ferrari. Hey, what, what the hell? What the hell does he have in that car? I, I want to know what he has in that car because I don't understand. Uh, yes, Frankie. Please tell him how brilliant we were and how crap we're going to be in Belgium. <laughs> Which, uh, coincidentally, is our next race. So guess what we're now going to go do? We are going to go and discard this. Well, they've already discarded it for me. Now, this should ensure we get through Malaysia. And if we don't get through Malaysia, I want to know why. Gearbox will make it through uh, Belgium. That's good. Uh, R&D. Let's go spend some R&D. We're just slightly ahead of Williams. We want to get ahead of Fort India now. What, uh, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? You recommend getting some of that? Put ahead of Toro Rosso? Uh, that's a good idea. I, I like that idea. Um, what about what about chassis? Does that um, do anything for us? It puts us ahead of the the Pink Panthers. I always wanted to be ahead of a Pink Panther. I really did. That'll put us ahead of a pink panther or two. How are we doing over here? Good. Right then. So now we've got our new engine for Belgium all sorted. It's got to do Belgium, Italy, Singapore and Malaysia. And maybe Japan. But that is not bad if I do say so myself. Lowest we've been all season's third. So we've been on the podium, we've been consistent, and I like consistency. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed uh, this one. And we shall see you next time when we go side by side into the first corner at Belgium. Where it's guaranteed to be utter carnage.